Um, got a lot of questions um, recently also about tasers and uh, what they do and how they work um, and why we use them. Tasers are a best practice. Um, they're actually a very useful tool. They uh, reduce um, injuries to peace officers. They work um, in a very simple way. You can use them two ways. Um, officers um, can use them really to um, gain control of a suspect who we can't gain compliance in another way. Uh, there's, a, there's a fallacy out there that tasers kill people. Um, and actually, um, if you read every report that anybody has been killed um, associated with a taser is, um, tasers has not been the primary cause of death um, in any case. Um, and Taser International, the company that puts that out, um, is very um, active in um, defending their use of that equipment. Um, we think it's a good practice. The majority of peace officers are using it. Um, it's a very low level of force. You don't necessarily need to use it with the darts. You can actually use it to taking the darts off and using it um, as a stun gun. Um, and it's an effective tool, really, um, to maintain control of somebody um, who is not complying uh, with peace officers' requests. So um, I think um, it's unfortunate sometimes there's fatalities associated with it um, based on somebody's medical condition or history. Um, but you have to remember the people that we're dealing with, um, they could cause injury and even death to a peace officer um, otherwise if we didn't use control. Um, and, and you have to ask yourself, um, if we have a large man and he's fighting with two officers and officers can't control him because he could be um, dangerous, um, what would you rather see? Would you rather see the officers take out their sticks or use another device that could control them? And if you just think about that in your mind, um, they have a simple way to control someone. It's an effective tool. It's a common practice in this industry. Um, and sometimes there's that piece of police work we really don't want to talk about, but it exists. And it exists for one reason, is to keep your peace officers safe, but also to keep the community safe. Because what if the officers say, we can't control them, um, I need four of you, go out and try to get that guy here, the handcuffs, you know, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Think about that. Right? Um, yeah, it's, it's not really, it, and so we think about it as um, it's an effective tool in this business. So um, that's why we use tasers, and that's why many departments are transitioning. It's a lower level. Pardon? It's due to the body. Um, actually, so what it does is um, it actually um, restricts your muscles so you can't move. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Maybe um, they have to lower them down a little bit, the pressure. So it's one, yeah. It's one, one level. They don't come at different levels. Um, the you can, big guy and small person, you know what I mean? And they have that on high, and it can kill you. Yeah, there have been um, many studies. You can go to Taser International and read all about um, tasers. Um, but it comes in uh, one speed, and you can choose anywhere between one and five seconds, meaning it's set for, it stops yeah. after X amount of seconds, yeah. So um, if you've ever been tased, which I've been tased, it actually, you can't move. You can't move, and it just... How can, how can that um, happen that that didn't control that man of nations? Yeah. Well, What's I, it on PCP? I, our um, preliminary results right now are showing that, um, you know, a lot of the officers couldn't really even get a full contact with them or control them. So think about it. It's easy to control someone when they're standing there, right? But when someone's hands are flapping and you have officers that are trying to take someone in custody, um, it's a very difficult situation. So, yeah.